Neither side has given an inch through the first four games of this series, and we expect nothing less here tonight with game number five. Welcome. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. Tender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. Rochester's come to play. Look at that. A quick goal here just minutes in. Well, it's all about getting the start that you want, James. And that doesn't always mean a goal. It means being heavy in on the floor check, establishing pressure, capitalizing on their opportunity. That's a bonus, and they do it early in the frame. Handles the pass. and we'll get a face-off. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. A large quick stick off the draw wins possession. Too much congestion in front. Gains the zone from the right. Moves it to the middle. Misses. And he slides it quickly to Walcott. Syracuse has the puck near the point. And a quick little stick with him comes up with a turnover. Picks off the feed. And he takes the feed. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Syracuse plays it up ahead. Sends it in on the attack. And now he moves it quickly to Yost. Tries to get it over to Jost. Pokes it away in his own end. Puck grab by Jost. And he was ready for that one. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence. And so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck. And he does. And he makes a nice save. The Americans have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. Moves it around along the half wall. The Americans take possession in the defensive end. And that's picked off in the defensive end. 
defensive end. Puck battle along the boards. And he takes the feed. Moves the puck along the half wall. Way too much congestion blocks that. The Americans move the puck in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save in front. And he takes the dish. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. A chance in front. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. More than half the frame has been played here. We are all tied up in this one. Kozak's won the draw center. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. The Crunch have the puck against the boards. Grabs it in his own end. The Crunch have it now. Here he is in front! He got all of that. What a save by Jakarski. Puts it on there, and that one's turned aside. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Rochester's got it in the offensive zone. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. The Americans win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And a great read to turn that play aside. Quick feed to Edmonds. On the attack along the boards. And that's off a stick. Great defensive effort with the stick. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Richards looks around. Oh, oh, oh save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Uh, they always say, to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Past the halfway mark of this period, we got a tie game. Taken by Gabe. Edmonds crosses the line and is on the attack. And takes that one right in the chest and gobbles it up. Centers gliding up to the face-off dots here. Off the draw, they take possession. And now it's grabbed by Murph. Wax it into the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Dave. He carries the puck up along the wing. No room for that one to get through. Takes it to the front. Impressive save. Love looking at 
this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Syracuse goes to work in the offensive zone. The Americans have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And they'll dump it in. Lays into the body on the play. Oh, what a save by Oldenfeld! It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. Syracuse with a big defensive zone faceoff. Moves it to Carroll. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Hooks it away here in the neutral zone. Grabs control of it at the point. Syracuse looks to go on the attack. There's a shot. Great stop by Tukarski. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. And that banks off a stick. His reflexes on display tonight. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Finley's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Let's see the call here. Well, it's not good timing to take this penalty, James, late in the frame and a close game at that, but they just got to get to the intermission and then they can reset. Chance of the night here on the man advantage. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. And that ricochets off a twig in front. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Young stick handling in his own zone. First period nearly in the books here. Syracuse has possession of the puck. Sends it over to Element. Pass stolen in the open ice. Battling for it along the boards. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. The Americans get a hold of the puck under man. Great coke by Element. Here's a chance. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. As well as email notifications on upcoming promotions and exclusive fan club member events. through their hard work and tenacity have taken a one-goal lead here in the second. It's certainly better to play with the lead, James, but you know that there's a lot of one-way left and your opponent is going to come pushing and pressing. This game has been tight all the way around and I expect that it will continue to be. And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. He's in a high-danger scoring area. He's got a bit of time, but he knows he's going to have coverage come to him right away. So a quick snapshot, and he buries it.
The Crunch have come to play tonight. These are two great teams going head-to-head, -head and it's an open-up game, back-and-forth action, and you can feel the energy in the building. It's fast-paced, it's electric in there. Puck scooped up by Clay. I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Rochester's won the draw in the neutral zone. Prowse carrying it ahead. Now a quick pass to Richards. needed to James you get to the playoffs you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player that's a nice start Rochester's extended the lead to two well James it's exactly where you want to be you have a two goal cushion here but you also know that your opponent's going to start pressing there's a lot of game left here and if they get within one they'll be within striking distance Strong defensive effort. Syracuse has the puck. And here's the pass to Gonsalves. Rochester's got the puck in their own end. Tukarski's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you have battle, when you have build your opponent, James, it's effort and skill all wrapped into one. He's stumbling. It almost looks like he's going to fall, but he uses that core athletic ability to hold on, find the puck, and get a shot off. That shot fools the goaltender. He's on the board. Syracuse has made this a one-goal hockey game after that strike here in period number two. Well, and they're playing urgent, but they have patience, and that's exactly what you want to see. You have to be calm, even under pressure. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Syracuse brings the puck in from center. They put the puck into the offensive end. Sends the pass over. Here they come on the rush. Here he is in close. Quick stop by on the felt. Syracuse plays it along the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Poitier. Here's a shot. Glove save. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. Lots of time left in this period. Syracuse is still trailing by one as they step in for the draw. Feeds the puck to Biro. With possession along the wall. Sends the pass in front. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. The Americans lead this one early in the second period. They have certainly had a lot of jump offensively tonight. Rochester's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Americans lead it 4-3. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Takes possession. Here's a howitzer at the net. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Gets the puck in deep. Rochester's got the puck along the wall. And he takes the pass. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Quick pass to Edmonds. Rochester's got a hold of it along the wall. Locks him. Quick feed to Allard. Looking to make something happen at center. 
I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Scores! They tied it up, and we are back to even. Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to evens. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The centermen glide into position. Rochester's got a hold of the puck off the draw. The Americans have it now. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. The Americans have the puck in the corner. Here's a short pass to Davies. Laying out on the play. Beautiful defensive effort. has won the face-off here in their own end. Slides the puck over. And that's knocked away. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Dumont's got it against the boards. Can't maintain possession. Grips it and rips it. And that's three. It's a hat trick here on the road. Well, hold hat for him in a way because it's a business-like approach as he's on the road. Says, yeah, just bring it. I mean, gets a hattie to boot. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and he buries it. The Crunch have jumped in front by one here in the second. Uh, feels good, no question about it, to be ahead, James. Because when you're ahead, you feel like you can manipulate and you can dictate the game and the shape and the landscape of it. And that's picked off by Joseph. Rochester's going to score! And we are back to even! Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. Man, that looked like a goal scorer's goal. Just a knack for the net, but it all comes off of a beautiful distribution. I mean, just eyes in the back of the head to be able to give that gift right to the stick. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's all tied up. The Americans win the draw here in the neutral zone. Moves it to the yards. That's what happened there. Along the half wall with the puck. And a stick break set up. Moves it quickly over to Fortier. Kukarski's going to hang on for a whistle. Joe's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you got to be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Locks him up on the draw as they take possession. Rochester's looking to break out of their own end. Flags cross the line and is on the attack now. Oh, there's a great stop high on the felt. The Americans gain control of the puck against the wall. Can't get it to go. Syracuse with possession in their own zone. They fight for it along the boards. Slip feed. Finley's got the puck. Nice save from point blank range. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Absolutely fearless to step in front of that shot. Syracuse has been fantastic at blocking shots. Listen, it's tough to get to the front of the net when you're protecting the interior. They've done a great job. You have to believe they've talked about this pregame. And this squad has really put the pressure on now. More than half the period has expired. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Rochester's won the draw and they'll go to work. Takes the feed. Syracuse plays it against the boards. And there's the save. 
right through center and into the offensive zone. Sends the pass in front, and that's intercepted. Stevens picking up steam. Shot makes an incredible save on getting to the top of his crease quickly because that shot, it came fast. Scores! It's in the back of the end. I think he knocked it in there, Cheryl. Oh, that is such a deflating goal and a real tough one for him to take. I think he lost sight of it, didn't know where it was, and as he turned around, he knocked it himself. Oh, that's a tough one to take. The Americans are finding that little extra pep in their step here in the second period and have taken a one-goal lead as a result. Well, they break the deadlock, and that's huge. Now you're playing in front, but I think this face-off and the shift that ensues is critical, James. Now you got your opponent right where you want him. You're back on their heels. Take advantage and try and get another one. Pop moved over to Biro. Across the line along the left wall. And that's knocked away by Crozier. Syracuse looks to break out in their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And he makes the save. Slides it diagonally to Biro. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Wolcott's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, it's kind of hard to protect a one-goal lead when you're sitting in the box and your team's short-handed, James. The BK unit's going to have to find a way to stave off the power play here and get the job done. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Puck exits the zone. Intercepted at center by Element. Sends a pass over. Takes it into the slot. Denies him in front. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Takes the feed. Moves the puck. The Americans have possession shorthanded. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And he slides it quickly to Clay. Here comes the call for the official. Well, everyone has a role in this PK unit, knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Quick pass to Richards. Grabs the puck. Here he, and he wraps the post! The Bruins get some emotion from the bench as they look to extend their lead and hit the post now. Everyone thought it might have gone in, and then they realized it didn't. Long lead pass into the open ice. Sorry, D! Americans go to work on offense. Pass back to the point. The Americans play near the point. Monster blocker stopped by on the belt. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. There's the save. Here's the bench to Stillman. Another chance. Here's the shot. Rochester's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. <laughs> 40 minutes down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three next. Don't forget to check out our top 10 moments in hockey history. You can find it on our website, voted on by you, our fans. Buzzing teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Oh, 
surprised I've got a voice here period number three after all those goals scored through the first 40. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Rochester's ahead right now, and that's the operative word right now, James, because this has been back and forth. This is all about high-flying offense. I know that you'll love this type of game. The Americans have certainly subscribed to the quantity theory offensively tonight. They lead it and have been busier in the offensive zone. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Now he takes it over the line. Quick feed to Gonsalves. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. Tukarski's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Syracuse wins possession right off the draw. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Slides the puck down low. Syracuse has the puck in the corner. Rips it. Rochester's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Gonsalves. Quick shot. Stopped by the goaltender. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Roberts won the draw there on the attack. Goes right to the crease. Denies him. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Elements got it through the neutral zone. Moves it to Stevens. Takes the pass. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Passes on over to Clay. The crunch of the puck in the open ice. Picked up along the boards by Element. Passes it in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Rochester's done a wonderful job putting a lot of pucks on net, and they lead it early in this third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Scores! I got two words for you. New game. Yeah, certainly is, James. And who's going to come out on top by the beginning of this face-off? You want to be able to get that puck in the offensive zone and find a way to continue to attack. This is a primetime example of why you work on face-offs so often in practice, because when you start with possession, you get scoring chances. And when you get scoring chances, this is exactly what happens. You put it in. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Syracuse wins it. Across the line. Picked up by Bureau. Slides it across to Citroni. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Great read with the stick. Davies has it in the defensive end. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Loses his balance on the play. And he serves it across to Alard. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. The Americans cross the line and gain the zone. And the pass now loose. Scrum ensues along the boards. Syracuse has it in the defensive end. Takes it at center. Moves it quickly over to Biro. Cuts to the front. Fantastic save. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring. He scores! And there's the hat trick and let those shuffles fly. Anytime you get a hat trick, it's a special moment for a player, an athlete here, James. But to do it at home and have all of those caps fly out on the ice, it's a pretty special one. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible. But this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. 
The Americans now have the lead here in period number three, and it's crunch time now. It is crunch time, and it's crush time, James. I mean, it's been back and forth all game. Now you find yourself in the lead, so you have the momentum. You've killed your opponents, so continue to hold it. Continue to apply the pressure. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Shot puts him wide of the net. The goaltender's really challenging, and there's not much net available. He's looking to really fill it, and he can't find the spot. Just a great heads-up play by Walcott. Quick pass to Murch. Oh, and there's a great save by Oldenfeld. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Stillman. Richards plays the puck. Quick feed to Stillman. Here's a chance to set up now. And he had the answer on that play. The Crunch have taken possession along the wall. Dished on over to Gonzalez. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Murch. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Rochester's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the puck over to Murray. Oh, look at this chance. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Roberts got control of it now behind the cage. And the puck's back on his blade here at center. Heads to the back of the net. That's not going to fool him. From behind the net. Here's a chance. Oh, they do it again. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? Yost's been engaged and was able to jump in on the offense, guys. I've really liked his game tonight, so I'm going to give him the edge here. Puck picked up by Prow. Gains the zone on the left wing. Sends it to the middle. Off a stick, and they can't complete the play. Syracuse moves it ahead. Sends it in front. Oh, these goals are real deflators for the entire team. James thought he had a piece of it, and it just dribbles into the back of the net. He wants that one back. The Crunch have been pressing hard all night, and look at this. We are tied. Yeah, this is awesome. It's going to be a nail-biter right to the finish, and you got to wonder if the coach is going to look down the bench. You need defensively responsible players, but you also have the ones, the goal scorers, who have the guts to attack. Kaboom! He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivering and executing hits. Well, he certainly did there. Here we go. Puck's in deep. Rochester's got a hold of the puck. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads-up play there. Scooped up along the wall by Crow. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Crunch have to spend the next two minutes under man. Can send their men advantage unit out once more. Earlier today, the guys were talking about the cross crease one timer. The coverage is sliding over to one side of the ice. It's opening it up all day long. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Shot! Oh, misses the net. You know he want that one back, Cheryl. Well, he certainly will, James. That puck is following him around, and you can see he saw the opening, but wasn't able to put it on net. The Crunch have gained possession under man. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Jostles the puck loose. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Edmonds' penalty is about to expire. The Americans squander a golden opportunity to take the lead here. Critical time of the game, James. Everyone wants to be out there and embrace that pressure. You want to deliver. You want to be the hero. And you get left with a big, fat zero. That's a tough one to take. Grabs the puck. Handles the puck. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Dishes it to Myers. I've really enjoyed this game tonight, James. It's been tight. It's been fast-paced, defensively structured. And you never know which way it's going to end. Picked up along the wall by 
Russell Tony. Slides the puck ahead to Murray. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Angles it over to Dumont. Can't connect, good use of the body on that play. Shot, score! Critically important. Well, a big defensive breakdown leads to this opportunity, and he makes the most of it with a teed up shot. It's a one timer, and he hammers it home. The Americans have to be feeling good about themselves after taking the lead with that goal here in the third. Yeah, and it's not much of a cushion the way this game has gone back and forth, James, but it's something. You're in the lead, so now you want to continue with that tempo. Find a way to push your opponent back. Continue to punch and press. The crunch at position now. Syracuse steps inside. Skates in behind the cage. Moves it to Clegg. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Putting to the front of the net. Denies him with the pad. Through center along the wing. Rochester's top line is going to come on the ice, and there's no coaching decision to be made here. I mean, they've been so effective. They contributed, and they're a reason why they're in the lead. The crunch have possession along the boards. Through center. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Burcher is close to finding a hole there, and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had, and the play dies. Quick shot! Oh, it's denied by Tukarski! Grabbed along the board by Element. Syracuse has the extra attacker out with the goalie on the bench here. He got all of that one. That goal went in. Everyone on the bench and on the ice knew that that put the game to bed. The Americans' persistence pays off as they get the empty netter, and that should probably do it here for this one, Cheryl. Yeah, that should be the insurance marker, James. They've got a comfortable lead now. They can all breathe a little bit lighter, and that should finish it off. Feeds the puck across to Dumont. performance here in game five gives them the win and they take a 3-2 series lead well now they're in the driver's seat right james i mean they're one win away they'll get two shots at it it's about putting pressure on your opponent they're in a do or die moment now but you got to be expecting their best and if they can put the foot on the gas pedal they're going to close this series out what a night you gotta love the intensity of the playoffs and we will see you down the road at the next game it's playoff time baby good night from all the here at the a sports